Hey everyone, welcome to Lady Overlander Radio. Tonight we're talking with Phil of Old Man Old Truck. Stay tuned. Grab your favorite drink, whether it's a coffee, cocktail, or tea, and get ready. It's Ladies Night on Lady Overlander Radio. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. The Lady Overlander Radio Podcast is available live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also catch the audio version on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms. Enjoy the show. Woohoo! Hey, Arla. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. What's happening? Not too much. How are you? Living the dream, one day at a time. Living the dream. Me too, girl. So let's mm-hmm. talk about last weekend. Ooh, okay. Did you have fun? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fun. Yeah. It was that was fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You tried out your bed in the jeep, sleeping in the I jeep. Did. So first of all, we were on a girls camp out. Yes, barrel chick outdoors. With Jesse McBride, she um, heads that one up, and there was twenty-one ladies and fourteen rigs. Mm-hmm. But yes, I did do something different. Said so pull my trailer with the rooftop tent since we're going to do trails and whatnot. I got a um, deep sleep five-inch mattress that's made for my JK. I got the half one because I have the fridge on the other side, and I slept in my JK. So that was different, but it worked out fine. Um, it was comfortable um, and whatnot. It was just different, you know, you mm-hmm. sit in the rooftop tent and then you go to that, but it was a lot easier to deal with and, and whatnot with, you know, getting up, trying to pack down and, and, and get going. So uh, it was good. Froze my butt off the first night. <laughs> Got a little smarter and layered up a little bit the second night and it was, it was better. Um, but it was good. It was really good. Oh, full mission capable overland. Hey, everybody. Hey. hey. Also says hi, Phil. Oh my. Adventurous. What's the hat? Yes. Oh. Hey, Russ. Oh, we got all kinds of people chiming in already. You're so popular. Hey. Feral Joe. Oh, That'll be yeah. Missy's lovey. Hello from yeah. the station. Stacy Bugner, our queen. Oh. Look at that. This side. Oh, I'm representing. My, I didn't wear my sweatshirt. I'm nice. representing Oki Overland. That's right. That's girl right. Sponsor. Hey, girl. Hey, I want to say that to you. We miss you. <laughs> uh, nice hat, Phil. Got one in blue. Phil's always rocking a cool hat. Yeah. It really I is. Like What's up, Travis? They're just talking to themselves. I know. I'm just. Gen Extras Overland. We ain't seen y'all in a minute. How y'all doing? Yeah. So, Phil, we're not going to really interview you tonight. We're just going to let everybody chat back and forth. Everybody just wants to talk to you. Uh, like, I'm, so already. I'm so confused. So confused. But back to the weekend. It, it was really good. We had yeah. potluck. It was fun. Uh, you also slept in your rig. You've done mm-hmm. a whole setup for your rig now as well, right? Yeah. I prefer it. It's great. It's a game changer. Not, not I like shabby. it. But... Yeah, we keep just gonna slip. Hey, that's what we're here for. Let's do hey. it. Liven Let's it up. Go. Let's go. So, what do we have coming up? Well, we got. We were just talking before we came on live. We're go, We're all three going to be at More Expo. Yes. So we we're going to be doing that. Um, what are we doing at we More got, Expo? We are doing a Ladies Overland Lounge collab with Ladies Off Road Network, Charlene Bauer. And we're going to have all kinds of classes, all kinds of cool stuff. we got a nice big space right when you get to the expo, right where you come in. So it's going to be really awesome. I'm very excited. Yay. Hey, Michael Hyden from Alaska. Yeah. Love it's it. early over there. It is early over there. Are you even off work yet? Are you <laughs> on the clock? And then, Phil, you are in South Carolina? That's right. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I thought. So we met, we first met you out at Expo West. That was last year, I think. Mm -hmm. yes. in, in person, yeah. but he's been, he's been on here chatting us up. Oh yeah. Times, all yeah. the time. It was nice Usually to meet you person finally and put a name and a face and everything together. And, and now we got you on the show, which is awesome. Right. Well, so Stacey why don't you, man. oh, mute a man. If Stacy says it, it, it's true. It's true. That's Stacy knows things. That's right. She's awesome. If she knows some good juicy details, though, she could she could go ahead and type those. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm gonna kick back on that. So why don't you give the, everybody a little background on yourself, Phil, and talk about you know how you got into overlanding? Um, I'm Phil. Uh, my all my social media is old man old truck. I'm an old man. My truck is a 1999 Tacoma. Uh, currently has about 300,000 miles on it. Nice. I bought it new in 99. Nobody else has ever drove it but me. Wow. That's um, pretty cool. So you put all those miles on it. That's crazy. I'm very proud of that fact. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I've been doing some shape, form, or fashion of camping or car camping or overlanding pretty much my whole life. Um, we used to travel in a 2001 sport mobile, if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've done a good bit. I've also got a Toyota FJ Cruiser and I slapped a rooftop tent on that and uh, camped in that a good bit. And then my truck has been through several configurations, and that's what I'm currently using for travel and camping. That's awesome. Um, I've been to every state except Hawaii, and I've been to all the Canadian provinces and territories except for none of it. So, that's pretty impressive. When, when are you going to Hawaii? I don't know. Uh, it's a little harder to drive to there. <laughs> I know, but you still got to go. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think I'm about it a lot. I really want to go. Uh, they say you're a man of few words, but they love you. Uh, <laughs> and you're Travis, the reason why Travis, they bought a Toyota. <laughs> Travis, oh God, no. Jeep. Travis, Travis <laughs> recently converted from a Jeep to a Toyota. Converted Smart from man. a Jeep to a What? Smart Girl, man. no. I think he still owns a Jeep. I think he still has his trail haul. I gotcha. Thank goodness. So we got, I got a few comments over here on Instagram. We got Adventure Off-Road X saying, I'm hoping to make it this year. I'm sure he's referring to more expo. We got Professor Bats and Friends. Hey, old man. And then Bats Off-Road's waving over here. So we'll have to uh, keep jumping over to the comments on Instagram so we don't make sure we don't miss any there. But it'd be nice if they integrated it all on StreamYard for yeah. us. Why but would they do that? We'll make do. Why would they do that? They can't oh. make it too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Got to make it a he, challenge. He says he still owns the Trailhawk, sold the Gladiator. No. Oh. Hey, hey, Galen. Galen. <laughs> hey, Jasper Jeep Jam. Oh. Lisa's nice. All right. So let's talk about a little more about your Toyota build. Is it stock? Did you do any kind of modifications to it at all? Uh, what, what have you done to it? Minimum modifications. Uh, way I look at it, Toyota knows a lot more about building a truck than I do. So I take it they did it right. So no need right. for me to mess it up. Uh, it's got about a two and a half inch lift on it. And uh, I have custom bumpers front and rear and rock sliders and that's about it uh, that's pretty nice that's all you need yeah and it's been everywhere in 2022 i retired from my job and a month after i retired i jumped on the trans america trail and went across the country and it ended up doing about eight thousand miles uh, with five thousand of that being on dirt yeah that's awesome. 
That is awesome. We got a pretty good question here from Farrell Joe. Phil, what's the worst case you've had on the road where you questioned your life choices, i.e. weather, breakdowns, etc.? Yeah, My gosh, these thoughts, Joe, these thoughts. That's, gonna, that's pretty easy for me to answer. <laughs> oh, uh, when I was doing that Transamerica trail trip, uh, I was in Arkansas, of course. Mm -hmm. and, I already know uh, where this I'm, is going. I'm, I'm sure that you folks know, you Arkansas people are very aware of Bub's Cabin. Of course. Yes. I, was very near, I was very near Bub's Cabin and I was by myself. It was dark. And there's some of the biggest mud holes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> there were trees down. There were power poles down. There, my truck's tiny. I've got 32-inch tires, and there were rocks bigger than my truck. <laughs> and uh, it was it was a bit of a nightmare. Mm -mm. And you were by I, yourself. I was. I, I do a lot of solo travel. Yeah. How do you do say safe? A, um, what are some things well, you do? <laughs> uh, mostly just blind luck. Um, <laughs> I, I get that question a lot. Um, uh, I, I'm not strapping. I carry bear spray with me. And mm -hmm. I've never felt like I needed to have anything other than that. Uh, I've never been in a situation where things were worse than that. I, That's did good. Have, I did have a bear sit outside my truck in Colorado all night long growling at me. Oh my um, God. <laughs> I'm guessing I was somewhere near his den or something and he did not like where I was, but we worked it out. Um, similar situation there. We were at uh, Mountain West a few years ago, my husband and I, and we were up in Estes Park up there. Um, camping and about three o'clock in the morning a bear was down at the bottom of our rooftop tent you know milling around and stuff and checking us all out my husband woke me up to tell me there was a bear i'm like you you could not you know i you could let me asleep because now i'm terrified but yeah same <laughs> thing checking out what we were doing or something he wasn't growling he's just being nosy and you know sniffing and puffing and all that kind of stuff yeah oh yeah posturing doing what they do um full mission has a question for you what is your favorite state uh to gravel travel east of the mississippi mm. um, uh, probably north carolina mm. uh, they have some some very good forest service roads in north carolina uh, and then right in this little corner where i live uh, i'm right where North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee all kind of converge on each other. Oh, and, nice. And all four states have some really nice stuff in there. Yeah, you're in a good spot. For sure. Yeah. I'm about I'm about 30 minutes from the beginning of the Georgia Traverse. Oh, nice. nice. That's not too bad. That's, that's uh, kind of a nice place area to be in there. Oh, I like it. You've been on that one, right, Misty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got some really good parts. It does. <laughs> I've not uh, I've not been on that one yet myself. Farrell Joe says, thanks for the memory, Phil. Great times on journey. He's talking about the Trans-American Trail. Yeah. you got some you got people coming in here, man. Old man is an inspiration for many reasons. Overcoming adversity and continuing on his definitely one of them. That's awesome. Well, Thank you, Russ. That's so nice. We're going to come back to that. We're going to come back to that? Yeah. Uh, let's see. My worst place I've been stuck was also Arkansas, Frog Bayou. For sure. 100%. <laughs> that was yeah. a good see. I never expected Arkansas to have what it has. Uh, oh, yeah. Arkansas has my respect. <laughs> but I, I'm going back in a couple of weeks. I know. I saw. Get, I'm going to get my revenge. You should just tell, hey, let's go. Drop us a pin so we know where you are in case you need us. I mean, we're not, I'm not, we need one of us as far from the, you know, we're right there. I'm literally 10 minutes from the beginning of the National Forest. So, like, just right, let cool. us know. Yep. 
you're familiar with, uh, I think it's Pilot Knob or Pilot Rock. Mm -hmm. uh, I plan to camp there one night while we're over there. Very nice. Awesome. Are you traveling alone? I, well, my first day and a half, I'll be alone. And then I'm meeting up with some other people that are also going to more. Nice. Awesome. So you're making a thing of it. That's awesome. That'd be great. That's right. Uh, Gen Xers. Favorite national park, Phil? Gates of the Arctic, Alaska. If Ooh. nothing else, it has the coolest name of any park. For sure. Great. I've, I've not been to Alaska yet, but it's on, it's on the to-do list. Oh, yeah. I love Alaska. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Adventure Off-Road X, looking forward to hitting the Georgia Traverse. I've not done that one yet myself either. Oh, Jarrett, hello, hello. What is the strong or strangest thing you have seen on your journey? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Strange <laughs> <laughs> things out there. Um, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was in Colorado on the Transamerica Trail, and... I was out in the middle of nowhere. I had not seen another person in like two days. I go around the corner on the trail and it's a pretty rough trail where I was at. And uh, there's this man standing there, um, has dreadlocks down to his eye and uh, he's all in black. He's carrying a walking stick that's made from just a tree limb. And uh, when I got a little closer to him, he hid his face from me. So don't know exactly what was going on with this guy, but uh, it was very strange. Sounds like he was running from somebody. Yeah, it seemed that way. That's crazy. Stacy said, Phil ain't scared of no bears. Look at his beard. And then she <laughs> said, that thing is majestic. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I, I trimmed it up for tonight. You did? Well, thank you. It looks <laughs> nice. Jared could hook you up with some uh, some of his steadfast beard stuff, beard stuff he sells. Beard butter and all the beard things. Beard butter and all the things. That's, yeah. That's what he does. And he, he'll be at more. He lives right uh, there. Over here on Instagram, Bats Off Road says, Wendy up mm -hmm. there on Pilot Knob. I guess he's kind of giving you a heads up. Yep. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I do have a backup campsite plan. You should. Those and, and they, you know, it's starting to warm up here, and those those things get filled up pretty, pretty fast. So it's good to have a backup plan for sure, especially yeah. if you're going to have a group with you. Oh yeah. Uh, Stacy Buckner. Hi, Stacy from FMC Overland. Right on. Oh, y'all got fans all on here. I'm telling you, man. Well, I want to go back to uh, overcoming adversity and continuing on. What did Adventure Russ mean by that? You, is it story time? I feel um, like sharing? I, uh, I guess. <laughs> I've, I've had uh, either five or six heart attacks. I guess. Oh. And the last heart attack that I had was about two days after I saw you guys at West. What? Uh, I was camping on the North Rim. After I left West, I went up to camp on the North Rim and uh, I had the onset of a heart attack. By the time I got home, I got home and went to the hospital. You drove all the way back from the North Rim before you went to the hospital? Yeah, yeah. I'm a guy. What can I say? It's what we from do. From Arizona <laughs> to South Carolina, sir? Yeah. yeah. It's you know there's it's hospitals good. between there, right? There's, there's like a lot of hospitals. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've had, uh, I've had several heart surgeries and a lot of, a lot of issues over the years. But... Uh, Oh, and I'm blind in one eye. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah. But doesn't slow me down much. No. no. And you shouldn't slow down. Absolutely not. Uh, mm -mm. Keep, keep doing mean, what you're doing. You know, yeah, I, know, I know you know life's short, man. So you got to do it right. the, the best way you can, as much as you can, as long as you can. 
That's right. So after the uh, after the last heart attack and a little, I spent about a week in the hospital. And when I came out, you know, I, my kids talked to me, and uh, they don't like me traveling solo so much. So I kind of I started staying around home a lot more. Uh, yeah. For the last, Almost a year now, I've been staying around home a good bit um, to to kind of get my fix. I started going hiking. We have lots of good places near me to go hiking. So I've been doing that, and, uh, but it just wasn't enough. So I'm I'm doing this thing in the Ozarks, going to more. Well, we're gonna wow. be, we're gonna be watching you at more, sir. We're gonna be watching yeah, you. Jacob Patterson. Hey, bud. Yeah. Bill's the man. Much love for him. Well, let's see what Jared had to say. I thought I was a badass. I gave this <laughs> man my card. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Give him some beer butter when you see the man. Give him some beer butter. That man has earned it, Jared. He has earned it. Make a smell on us. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. So what uh, what does bring it, being out in the woods bring to your life? What do you why do you keep doing it even though you've had heart attacks and you've had different things happen and uh, and it might sound kind of weird, but I just feel like I belong there. Yeah, uh, I'm never happier than when I'm in the woods, and it I don't have to be doing epic stuff. I just I just love getting out there. Yeah, that, that's the truth. That's how my husband is too. Like he's just there's nowhere else. Uh oh. Uh, she froze up in mid talk. She does that all the time. <laughs> Her husband is is always out traveling. Um right now he's out, yep. I think in Arizona right now, Missy. Uh, yep. He just camped on the North Rim. <laughs> Her son and uh, husband and father in law are all on a mm -hmm. uh, a guy's trip for a month or two and hanging out. Yep. But he's always on the go. He don't stay home very long at all. That's why they call him Feral Joe, and he's he's on the move. That's well, basically yeah. what I said when I froze up. <laughs> yeah. I knew what she was gonna say. <laughs> I knew what she was gonna say. Um, Adventure Overland X says, as "Soon as I replace my rig, call me anytime for a little adventure." Phil, so, hey, hey, cool. nice. Here's another one. Look at you. You got all this respect. I have much respect for Phil. With what he is doing, he's a great friend. Thank you, Blake. Man, we might just break this this uh, <laughs> this program yet. We'll see. Gotta start to make my allergies bother me. I know, right? <laughs> what the heck? All love the East it. Coast representing too. I love it. I know. That's right. That's right. That's right. So we were talking about. Uh, before the show, we were talking about all the different expos. What's your favorite expo you've been to? Uh, Mountain West. Yeah. Uh, I like the location, and I like the way it's set up. Uh, it's The setup there just makes sense in my head. <laughs> so it, it's easy for me to find where stuff is in there. Yeah. That is true. It's a good setup there. It is beautiful there. Uh, Scott Lester said he had a heart attack in 2019 before he got his Jeep. It, it prompted him to get a Jeep and to go on adventure. So life short, sure. basically. And Feral Joe says, unfortunately, my signal here at Tortilla Flat is terrible. This is on my rewatch list. Safe travels, Phil, and hope to share a campfire sometime. Same here. Experiencing Arkansas is in the house. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry we are late. It's all good. At least you're here. It's all good. It's all good. You know, right on. Have you ever thought so, about um, moving to the Midwest? No. No? <laughs> like, like here, or Arkansas. Or uh, like I Arkansas. love where I live. Uh, yeah. Um, matter of fact, I posted something on Facebook a few days ago about no matter where I travel to, I love coming back here. Still home. It's beautiful. Uh, I love it here. I'm, I'm real close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. I can go up there and see lots of beautiful places. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's a really pretty area where you live. Yeah. 
Can't wait to go to more, man. It's coming up soon. Only a couple more weeks, I feel like. Yeah. Even bigger than last year. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger and bigger. I know. Next is going to, I bet you eventually it'll rival Expo West. I think so. It, it doubles every year. I would, I would, I would say it doubles every year. Cause you started going when it first, the first year, right? You went the first year. The mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now they've added on the, the power sports side this year. Um, and whatnot. So it's just, I just, I don't even know what to expect this year. There's, there's just so much. There's just so much. Yeah. It's be crazy. Crazy fun. <laughs> be crazy fun. Uh, Let's see. Being close to your favorite retreat is no reason to move. Wish we were closer to ours. Right. Oh, what do you like about more expo? Yeah. Who are you asking, Scott? Who are you asking? Probably Phil. Let's let Phil answer first. <laughs> Since he's our first. guest, Harla. I'll go first. Um, <laughs> I like it. So. Uh... It's, it's a little closer to home than going out to West or Mountain West or Pacific Northwest. It's not the mud pit that East is. Um, and it's, it, a lot of good people there. Uh, I like going and seeing, interacting with the folks that are there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you camp there or do you stay like in an Airbnb? What do you camp. end up doing? Camp? Yeah. yeah. We're camping there this year. We usually we do an Airbnb, but we are camping this year. You're camping yeah. too, Misty, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. With all the sirens and all the wonderfulness of Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> the big city, big city life. Big city. I like it because it's only two hours from me. Yeah. Um, and it just gets it gets bigger every year, and there's just more vendors and more vendors that. It keeps showing up and coming and just keeps building this empire, really. I know. And it, every year you go, there's something new to see. Like every time I go there, I see some new gadget or gear that I haven't seen before. It's pretty neat. Right. Every year. Uh, Jacob Patterson. He is lying. He likes <laughs> Newfoundland more. Uh, question for y'all. If you had two weeks to go anywhere in the U.S., where would it be and why? Oh, Lord. Oh, Mm -hmm. I'll let you go first, Phil. All right. Yes. Yeah, Jacob's right. I I love me some Newfoundland. Uh, that's if there's any place I want to go back to another time, it's Newfoundland. Um, if I have two weeks anywhere in the U.S., I'm gonna guess he means continental U.S., the lower 48, because I mean Alaska's up there. Yeah. Uh, Two weeks isn't really enough unless you're going to pull out though. Um, I would probably, hmm, I guess I would do Colorado or Utah if I only had two weeks. If I had three or four weeks, I'd do the Pacific Northwest. Mm. I would do Wyoming or New Mexico. I love those two states. Uh, good ones. Probably Wyoming and Montana, Utah, somewhere around there. I want to go to Yellowstone. I think that'd be pretty cool. I've not been there yet. So, yeah. Or any of the beaches. Take me to all of those. No, well, you like all I the beaches. Do like all those. <laughs> do like those. A lot. Right. We're going on our trip soon. Two and a half weeks. Who's counting? <laughs> Who's counting? I mean, 16 days, give or take 16 days. Uh, Galen, camping party. Absolutely. Yeah. Heck yeah. You better bring Mel Mel with you. That's right. Uh, Jarrett, I'll be at more and I will behave. You will not behave. I hope your <laughs> wife packs little packets for you, though, because I'm interested in that. Uh, he'll find you and he'll give you some beard products. See? Nice. All right. Sweet. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Going to oh. spruce it all up. Goodness, you're getting hammered here. Question, what would be the next upgrade be on your rig to improve your travels? Oh. Uh, 
Don't fix something that ain't broke. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> um, I've I've had my eye on putting different seats in it. Um, okay. I'm a fat guy, and I've been in that driver's seat for 25 years, so it it could use a it could use a break. But I bet your hiney's made the seat all nice and like. Yeah, it, it fits me good. <laughs> it's just right now. Now you want to fix it and try to break something uh, new in. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind doing that because well, it's got the uh, 60 40 bench seat in it, mm -hmm. and I would like to take that out and put buckets so I can yeah. have a, con a center console. Yeah. Is yours a five speed or an automatic? Five speed. Everything five. about my truck is manual. Manual locking hubs, manual windows, manual doors manual transmission everything do you, do you find it difficult if you're on a trail that can be um challenging uh for it to be a little more difficult being in a standard versus an automatic sometimes if it's if it's really loose soil and everything mm -hmm. sometimes i i think you know an automatic might be a little nicer on that but other times i feel like it gives me an advantage so i don't know but I, I mean, I've been driving a manual. I, I've always owned a manual since about 1975. So mm -hmm. it's it's second nature to drive one. I, I learned on a manual. That's all my parents would do. You, if you learn on a manual, you can drive anything. That's right. So that's, that's that's true. what I was. That's what happened with me. Uh, she'll be there. Awesome. Uh, see us at more, and we'll. We will get you a patch for that patch wall. All right. Nice. Sweet. I'll trade you one. Oh, they have a big wall. They do it more. That that big old. Take patch a patch, wall. leave a patch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Take a cool, patch, cool. leave a patch. I just got new patches. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I still got your your little truck patch up in my uh -huh. ceiling. Yep. Uh, my my new one is a little truck patch, but it's a little different. Awesome. But did you get? Did we give you an LOR patch? I don't remember. No, you didn't have any with you when I saw you. We'll get you. Already run out by then. Jared from Shop Overland Apparel is going to be in booth fifty-three, and uh, we will go by there and get you a patch. We'll make sure you get one. Yep. Patch sticker. All Whatever. If you really come and find us, we'll give you a special LOR chapstick. Oh sweet. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are lovely. They are. They look really good. Any, anybody that's watching this, uh, if you come up to me at more and ask, I will give you a patch and a stick. Hot nice. Day. If you, if you see day. me there, just hit me up for a patch and a sticker. Awesome. awesome. I love it. I love patches. I have, I, man, that's my thing. We have a patch addiction. It's it's a thing. Yeah. 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 I'm at the very, very back of my Jeep now. Adding them. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of place. I guess I'll buy another Jeep and I'll just keep adding. That's well, <laughs> the, the headliner of my truck is completely full, and you can see behind me, I've got a wall going there. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Off-grid adventure. Howdy. My first vehicle was, was a manual. I've gone back and forth over the years, but they're getting harder to come by. They really are. It's not a usual, you know, it's not, it's almost like a special order thing to have a manual anymore versus a Versus yeah. an automatic. Uh, I, was, I was thinking the other day that, you know, a manual transmission, you often hear somebody call it a standard because that is what was the standard in cars mm -hmm. when I first mm -hmm. started driving. Me too. And, uh, an automatic was an option. So mm -hmm. that's the truth. And, and now it's like the way around. Yeah. yeah. All right. Over here on Instagram, we got Bats Off Road wants to know your favorite camp meal. Mm. Snacks. Uh, favorite camp meal. Probably like either fajitas or tacos. Mm. I love tacos. I, I really like to, to cook those. It's easy to do. And, oh, yeah. Uh, and it just really tastes good. You ain't really got to have a plate if you have tacos. You just have the tortilla right. in and make it That's up right. and go on about your day. That's right. Less dishes to clean and everything. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, we did a taco bar last weekend on the girls' trip. We sure did. Oh my gosh, we had so delicious. much food. It's delicious. Ooh. That was crazy. 
Yeah, it was good. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had French toast made out oh, of Hawaiian yeah. rolls? Now, Phil, you're missing out oh, on life. That sounds pretty good. We had that on Sunday morning. So now. good. Jesse made that. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful there. You can't say stuff like that to a fat guy. I'm a fat girl and I love it. That's why I have snacks all the time. Snacks. <laughs> but powdered sugar with some syrup. Woo, buddy. Boy, I didn't, you didn't even really need the powdered sugar and syrup. But of course, we put it on there. But I mean, I it was like, oh, so good. Jesse did amazing. Thank you, Jesse, again. That was awesome. so good. So try that when you go out. Get some hot rolls and do a French toast. For sure. Delicious. Delicious. Yeah. What else did we have? We had, we kind of just did like a, just a throw together the next night of just leftovers and stuff. Arcuterie or something. Yeah. She says it's the coffee. There's coffee creamer in there? She puts coffee creamer in her batter. It was good. Really? It was good. Yeah. I guess it don't matter if it was good. I don't even know everything you put in there. Just don't tell me. Just don't tell me. <laughs> It's better that I. It's better that I probably don't know. I'm a picky eater, but so you'd freak me out. Yeah, that's why you never tell me if mayonnaise isn't something. Oof. How many kiddos you got, Phil? Mm. Three. Three. Two, oh, God bless two, you. I do too. Two girls and one boy. Same. What you have? Yeah. Just so they, girl, they're kind of behind you going and exploring, but they want you to stay a little closer to home now. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. My my son was with me when I went to Alaska. So. Oh, nice. So he's got a little bit of adventure in him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he loves to go. But he's old enough now to where he has to be a responsible member of society. Boo. And I don't. <laughs> that adulting thing, it's a real bummer. You're old enough now where you don't. That's uh, right. <laughs> yeah, that adulting, it's, it's no point. Now. Over here on... Uh, IG, it's a you, uniquely us adventure. Says, I made it. Old man, you rock. Oh, sweet. Glad you made it. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, fully mission. What is your preferred way of cooking? Like Scottle, Blackstone, Coleman? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I've really, I've really kind of minimized my setup now. So I have a single burner, uh, dual fuel butane stove. Mm -hmm. uh, I did have the Coleman two burner uh, for a long time, but um, I'm down to the single burner butane and a frying pan. Right on. And it does everything I need. Mm -hmm. Simplify. Now, are you a coffee drinker? Not huge. I I enjoy a cup of coffee, but I don't have to have it. Gotcha. What's something you have to have when you go camping? Like, what's something you do not leave home without? Peanut butter and bread. I can live on peanut butter and jellies. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to always have peanut butter with me if I'm on the road. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. Just... Yeah. It's easy. It doesn't go bad too quick. Um, it's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> you can put bananas on it. You can put anything on it. Honey on it. Jelly. Heck I yeah. love it. That was a good question. If you run out of bread, you can just eat a spoon of peanut butter. All the time. Or <laughs> just do it anyway. That's right. Here's one. What's your favorite peanut butter? Oh. I'm not a diehard to any brand. Um, mm -hmm. Usually if I go, if I buy peanut butter, it's typically either Peter Pan or Jif. It's usually one of the two. Whichever one's lower priced at the time. <laughs> I'm a strict Peter Pan peanut butter person. Okay. But it's all about the honey roasted peanut butter now. That's pretty good. Oh, oh snap. Atlanta. That's pretty good. So good. Peanut butter and K Rose syrup. What? Oh. Uh oh. I don't know. Jeff. Oh, yep. Jesse. No. Yeah. Girl, no. You got to. Right. 
Delta Juliet Adventure says, glad we're not the only ones with the emergency jar of PB. Oh. That's right. I got, I got a jar of peanut butter in my desk at work. You should. I, I mean, snacks. Hello. Yeah, you just scoop a big thing on the spoon and just there and eat it. Yeah. Quick yeah. snack. Real Jasper, snack. Jasper Jeep Jam wants to know, crunchy or plain? Ooh. Plain. Plain. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> There's no question there. Creamy. Creamy. <laughs> Creamy. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's eating crunchy peanut butter needs to be tested for something. For something <laughs> I eat peanut butter sandwich about every night before bed. That's good. And some chocolate milk. Good. Oh. Yeah. I like peanut butter banana sandwiches. Yeah. They're so good. What's your favorite beverage whenever oh, you're out? Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until Mountain Dew starts sponsoring us, I'm drinking my Coke Zero. <laughs> Keep trying every week. Where's my Mountain Dew? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Code Red Mountain Dew. They're like Lady <laughs> Overlander Radio who? I don't know these people. I don't know who they are. They look crazy. <laughs> well, they they might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, they might be right. They might be right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you said you had a two-inch lift on your truck, and you're running 32s, right? That's right. That's right. You running the stock wheels? No, I got, um, they're made by Ultra. They're just, they're nothing super fancy. Gotcha. Um, and I'm running the, uh, I think we had this conversation, a side conversation on, one night during your show, but uh, I have the 2.7 four cylinder. Oh, good mm -hmm. gas. Mileage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I first got my Jeep, it got great gas mileage. And then I decided I wanted to lift it and put wheels and tires on it and do all those things. And now they don't get such good, great mileage but anymore. <laughs> but I didn't buy it for that. So that's right. You know what I mean? That's, that's right. When people. Oh, this is a good one. Got a preference on tires that you run? Um, right now I'm running the Yokohama Geolanders. Good ones. Uh, I really like them. They've been yeah. great tires. And it, as much as it pains me to say it, I'm, I'm running KO2s on my FJ, and they have lasted forever. They won't die. No. <laughs> uh, it, I, it, I don't want to be on the bfg fan bus but i can't help it. they're good Listen, tires. I, i'm a bfg girl i'm I mean, on you're the with BFG. Of threes me and my yep. husband and our trailer is all km3s I love they, are, them. they are they are good tires you will not get yeah. stuck in the mud with no km3 uh, mm -hmm. but there now I, I feel like the yokohamas that i have look better yeah yeah <laughs> we got uh Uniquely Us Adventure says Mountain View, not Mountain Dew, LOL. <laughs> Good one. You got to have the Mountain Dew to make it to the Mountain View. That's, That's right. right. Must have. Uh, experiencing Arkansas, what has been your favorite off-road overland adventure to date? Oh. Um, so many. Yeah. I, I guess I got to throw Newfoundland back out there. Um uh, that was a really good trip, and we we drove as far north as you can go, uh, and it was it was great. We epic. saw whales, we saw icebergs. We oh slept, wow! We slept beside a Viking village, the remains of one. That's cool. Yeah, that's um, really cool. I'm, I really like Viking history and stuff, and. We, I found out that uh, Leif Erikson, the famous Viking, actually had a village in Newfoundland. So that's what prompted me to go. That's and I fell neat. in love with the place. That's awesome. Right on. That sounds amazing. Um, Galen says last weekend, Pulling his little trailer. He got eight miles a gallon with that Kansas wind. I'll tell you what, Kansas. Yes. Lord, 
the wind coming up through there, going toward going to Colorado over there. Good that wind gracious is... sakes. And yeah. Oklahoma. Oh, oh my God. Oh yeah. Uh, Jay Brad, <laughs> I mean the horse pasture was pretty special. You're, okay. you're pretty special, Black. Oh. <laughs> That's one of my, his, that's a long time friend of mine right there. Right on. Wait. Uh, Jason says that sounds like a great trip. Kate Kate has Viking heritage. I want to know. Cool. That. I knew she was a badass. His wife is a <laughs> badass. It's not a right lie. On. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this. You get all kinds of, kinds of comments on here. I know. It's Instagram's. Yeah, condition overland. Welcome, nice. William CC, nineteen forty-eight. Welcome, right on. So you said you have an, an FJ cruiser. You have a rooftop tent on the FJ cruiser, but I've, you still. I've, you said, I've since taken the rooftop tent off of it. Oh, you have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We. I do have a sleeping platform in the back of it, though. Okay. Right on. Did you build it yourself or did you buy one? It's, I built it. Nice. Right on. And where do you sleep in the truck when you take the truck and you just sleep? How do you get that outfitted? So uh, up until last year, I had a soft topper on there with a, I had a, a bed and everything in the back mm -hmm. there. Now, I take the passenger seat out and I have a bed that goes in there and my setup, whenever I get to where I'm camping, I'm already set up. All I got to do is get out of the driver's seat and go to where the passenger seat used to be and I can sleep. Nice. That's very nice. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I'm going to have to tell you, I don't really hate it. It's a lot easier to pack up and go. It yeah. is so much easier. Honestly. I, I kind of got the idea. I don't know if you guys are familiar. I think I think you are. Um, Charlene, that's over in Africa. Oh, yeah. And Charlene Rabata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she, she does that in her truck. She sleeps in the cab a lot of times. She has yeah. a rooftop tent, but... A lot of times she'll sleep in the cab, and I kind of took her idea and ran with it. Well, they got critters that'll eat you, like a lot oh, of yeah. them. So <laughs> I would sleep in the cab too. Yeah, it's just a yeah. lot better at uh, like weather that rolls up and stuff. It's a little more you know secure. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't hate it. No, I think you did pretty well in the in your rig last week and sleeping in there. I think so after the first night. I mean, I like to froze to death the first night, but uh, I made it. Well, to be fair, you were sleeping on top of your sleeping bag, which doesn't do you any good. But I had blankets on top of the sleeping bag because inside the sleeping bag, it's grippy and then it grabs your clothes and then you're like, all. Oh. <laughs> I can't turn over. You can't move. I, I move a lot when I sleep. So I'm constantly, you know, I'm a side sleeper, stomach sleeper. So I. And if you if you're inside the sleeping bag and your clothes be crap and all that, it it is a mess. I, yeah, I have a I have a twelve volt electric blanket. Nice. Plug it in, plug it into Jackery, and I'm good to go. How's that do on your on your uh, on uh, running down your battery though? I mean, how much does it pull? It's not bad. It I can plug it into the Jackery and run it all night long. Uh, and it's still half, it only use about 50% of it. So. And then just charge it up again the next day. So. Listen, I'm not going to get an electric blanket. You, you got a solar panel it. you take with you or do you charge it up off your vehicle? I do have one of the little folding solar panels, but I also charge it up off the vehicle. Yeah. When you're driving. Yeah. That's a good setup. <laughs> works real good. I mean, the style of camping that I do and a lot of other like-minded people do, you're never in one place more than one night. So you're driving the next day. Uh, you can charge everything back up. 
Really, yeah. That's really easy to do. Yep. That's true. Sleeping You're bags. right, Susan. It is like <laughs> a cocoon. It literally is. And it looks like a cocoon. It's an Oz tent one. And it, so mm -hmm. it comes up like. <laughs> a little no. mummy one. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I ain't getting in that. I'm not doing it. I'll just wear layers of clothes. Or I'll get me a 12 volt sleeping, uh, you know, like a sleeping bag them, pad or something like that. So get one of them sleeping pads that uh, Amanda has. That's right. You could get warm on the bottom and warm on the top. That's what you need. Arkansas weather's weird. Just be yes. prepared when you come out of here to, to camp. That's a, listen. Uh, All over the place. It'd be 81 day and it'll be 28 the next. Mm -hmm. Like this week. It's grumpy and it can't decide what it wants to do. Yes. But it's, yes. it's awful. Yeah, you do. See? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You're right. But yeah, make sure you bring some, bring bring a couple of different kinds of clothes because you, you never know. We've gotten snow in April and May in Arkansas. Well, you've been to more before, right? So you've seen the crazy weather that we get sometimes. Every yeah. year the weather's crazy for more. Something yeah. weird. Terrible storms. That one year was all ice. It was freezing. It was so cold. So, so cold. So do you have any uh, new chip, new trips planned for 2025 or later on in the year or anything like that? Are you just going to kind of... Just kind of play it by ear. Um, yeah. I would like to do something this yeah. summer. I, I want to go up in the Northeast. I haven't spent yeah. a lot of time up there. Um, I know some folks that live up that way and they tell me about some really nice places they have. So wouldn't mind going up there. Yeah. It's really pretty up there too, especially in the summer. I was stationed in Maine. That was my first duty station and it is so pretty up there. Yes. But being there in the winter, not a fan. No, I'm not going to do it. Anyway. <laughs> 10 out of 10 do not recommend. Do not recommend. Mm -mm. I would love to go to Maine so I could eat lobster. Mm. They have that there. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. It's all about the snacks. It is. It's food driven. It really is. Well, we've got a um, few more minutes left of the show. We wanted to go over real quick. Um, we have a ladies camping, a ladies camp out, listeners camp out, um, Oh, April 26th through the 28th over here in the Ozark. So if you're going to be in the area, come join us. We will cap it because we don't want to have too many rigs with us and it'd be all crazy. But uh, we'd love to have you ladies join us and we'll have a great weekend doing that. Then we got more expo. Then we got, what else we got? Later in the summer, I'm going to be at P&W, Overland Expo P&W. Then we got is Big Iron before or after Overland of America? After. After. Okay. So we got Overland of America, Big Iron, Rendezvous, our ladies' fall camping retreat that we'll be releasing tickets for. Um, that will be a paid event, but it'll be epic. October 6th, right? Uh, third through the 6th, yep, of October. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a pretty busy but fun spring, summer, and fall. The huge. The huge. Yeah. Good and times. Thrown in. That's right. So, Phil, if anybody wants to follow you, I got your subscribe to Old Man Old Truck on YouTube down there. But what a, what's your handle and everything on Instagram and all other social media? Uh, on Instagram, it's Old Man Old Truck with an underscore between each word. Um, TikTok is Old Man Old Truck. And... Uh, <laughs> Facebook is just Phil Brown. Okay. I did have I did have an old man old truck page and it got compromised and I went through a lot of stuff trying to get the page back and never could. And so I just decided I'm doing one one page and I'll do my personal and my truck stuff all on one page. Yeah, sometimes it's easier that way. Yeah. Oh, we got uh, Mrs. Dragonfly joined over here on Instagram. We got Carol Van Stralen joined from Epic Family Road Trip. Yeah. Hey, Carol. 
Off Grid Alaskan, they waved and said, old man, old truck, and then the high fives. Lots and high David fives. Reasoner joined over here on IG. Hey, David. Yeah. That's some late bloomers. We got some great people watching, all kinds of people on both Instagram and StreamYard. Right I know on. what you mean about the pages getting compromised thing after you said oh, that. Yeah. The same thing happened to me last year, and it took it took my husband seven, eight days to recover it and get it back. Yeah. yeah. Never, of constant back. working on it. They don't make it easy for you to get it back. When somebody's no, packed no. it and got it. Oh. And, and to make matters worse, it happened on the day that Facebook went down. Uh, Do you remember that day? Oh, yeah. I remember uh, that. That is the day that my account got compromised. So it it was even worse trying to get it back. Oh, oh man. It's awful. Wow. These Carol Van Sherlin said, hey, guys, this is awesome. Can't wait. Right on. You going to come, girl? Come on down. Come on out to the Ozarks. Oh. Come camp with us. Come to more fun. Yeah, come to more expo. Yeah. It's a great expo. Come over. We'll show you around. That's right. Show you around our parts, lady. We'll, find, we'll, we'll save you a spot in the ladies' lounge. You can camp with us. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fun. We'll let Peter do it too, I guess, but you know. I mean, it, you know, that's fine. I mean, boys, boys can come too. Just this one time. <laughs> just this one time we'd love to she said well do it girl come on yeah, come on are you hanging out at the cabin time. get on your boat get back over there to civilization and <laughs> get, in that, get in that big old fancy rig y'all got now come on yeah i'd love to see that thing that looks yeah. awesome ross amazing monster. ross monster yeah it's amazing amazing for and sure if you watch one of their videos, if you see them going in and out the side door, there's an old man, old truck patched right there beside the door. I seen it. That's Same. right. <laughs> That's awesome. You made the cut. You made the cut. That's awesome. I bet she don't got no Lady of Orlando radio by that door. <laughs> you got to get that going. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh, yeah. Sure What'd you say, Arla? I have their patch over my head. It's over your head. Yep. I have it in my Jeep. I sure do. Okay. So off off grid Alaskan says, and Chris, the founder of more is passionate about the event, a friend of mine and worth going just to absorb his energy. That's right. Yeah. That's not a lie. Carol said, I have the patch. Yes, girl. Awesome. Right on. Let's oh yeah. It. More is a good time. They, I mean, geez, it's like we were saying earlier, there's all kinds of stuff to do there. Mm -hmm. Really, really, it's oh, growing. Sorry. I mean, Phil's coming all the way from South Carolina to go, so right. it's got to be good. <laughs> My favorite part is that little pina colada area over there. You can go get oh. your slushy with, with a shot or two of rum in it. Yeah, they got this little kiosk thing where they make the pina colada and all these different tropical drinks and then you can get a shot of rum in there too it's great yeah 10 out of 10 do recommend <laughs> yes it's Good times. i hope they're there this year i'm gonna cry <laughs> i'm, gonna I'm cry. sure they'll be there have to email chris and ask see if there is there she is did yeah. i freeze again yeah it's because she lived in the boonies. See, she's frozen again. I do. Wish, I'm on Starlink. You got a weird face when you freeze. Like a, or something like that. <laughs> Starlink <laughs> is crazy. In the Ozarks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It definitely doesn't want to cooperate. So, and I'm the only one on it. Like, wow. Normally, my kids are like bogging it down, streaming TV and all this other stuff, but I'm the only one on it tonight and it's still acting crazy. So, wind blowing up there on the mountain? Probably. Yeah. Probably. A little bit. Mm hmm. Let's get a, a freeze warning again tonight, too. Mm hmm. It's just, it like can't make up its mind here. So, I'm talking about Arkansas. Mother Nature is cranky here. 
She cannot figure it out. She cannot figure it out. It's nope. okay. It's okay though. Off, off grid Alaskan says I'm also on Starlink. Starlink. Yeah, you you know my pain. I mean, mm -hmm. normally Starlink is awesome. It works really well, but every once in a while, especially if you're like trying to stream a show like this, I, I get froze. Like now. Sometimes you get kicked. Sometimes I get booted off. Sometimes I can't get on. Yep. Sometimes I'm all alone. <laughs> 16 yep. degrees in the morning in central Kansas. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm out. We'll you can keep it there. Yeah, you we'll keep pass. that. Yeah, you keep that right, right north. Keep that right up there. You're good to go. Bass Off Road says it's cloudy, Misty. Okay, well, I mean, that's not my fault. I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> Excuse me, clouds. Excuse clouds me. Roll right. on. Yeah. Galen, I'm over it. Me too, Galen. I'm over it too. Just, I need some spring weather. I need like 70, 75. Yeah. I need that kind of weather. I'm ready. I'm ready for that. I'm over for it. Sure. I'm over it with you. So, so if you could go back in time and tell your 18 year old self something, what would you tell yourself? Doesn't matter. I wouldn't listen. <laughs> That's, That's the, the best truth, answer right? we've ever gotten right there. Yeah. I knew everything when I was in the thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I think we all, I think we're all are that way. Teenagers, you know. Oh, yeah. You know Jay Black knew me when I was 18. <laughs> really? Oh, that's why he said, oh, my. <laughs> yeah. huh. That's hilarious. You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a family friendly show. We can't. <laughs> you can't oh. That's some good That's stories. We'll, have, yeah. we'll talk we'll about talk those about a bit more. Yeah. We'll, yeah we'll, we'll have a chat about that more. Yeah. Heck yeah. We'll about that. Bring Jay with you. Yeah. Bring I will say, if you know what a, a Mazda RX 7 is, all mm -hmm. sports car, yeah. Jay Black had one of those. And I think we had either seven or nine people in it in one night, or maybe more. Oh, my gosh. How in the world? You don't want to know how we did it. You don't want to know. <laughs> That's where you don't want to know. We, we probably broke 13 laws that night. <laughs> it's oh probably my. in two states, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Got one more question here. Where would you recommend for an overland trip in the Carolinas? Mm. That's a good one. Um, do you have to stay in the Carolinas? Can can we go into Northeast Georgia with it? Of course we could. Uh, yeah, if, we can do whatever we you, want. If you do that, uh, there's a lot of nice stuff in Northeast Georgia in the uh, war woman wilderness area. It's a great place. Uh, lots of really nice overlanding type. There's three or four uh, nice campgrounds in there, but they're free. Uh, so and awesome. then there's, there's lots of dispersed sites as well. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Off Grid Alaskan says, of all your travels, which state has you wanting to explore? To explore most, which state do you want to explore most? Uh, I would love to go back to Utah. Um, I was in Utah in 2022, and I spent five days in the San Rafael Swale Desert area, and it wasn't enough. Yeah. But it got up to 120, 124 degrees one day. Nope. <laughs> and my truck, my truck does not have AC. Oh, jeez. So, um, after, after five days of that, I had to leave. I, I just couldn't do it any longer. Uh, mm. But I would love to go back and explore more of that. Yeah, you're, you're one tough good. dude. I am not. I am not chilling out <laughs> in no hundred and twenty degrees a, for five there's days. There's a line between tough and stupid. Oh. <laughs> My gosh. Don't Sometimes that line gets a little blurred. Yeah. yeah. That's because you're delirious because you your brain baked. 
<laughs> that happened. Jay Black says you're crazy. I'm going to go He's with crazy. Jay. I agree with you, Jay. I think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's God. right. It takes one to know one. <laughs> you, for the last 40 years, you've been one of my closest friends. So what does that say about you? Right? You are who you hang out with. He's got you. He's got you there. You, you can't run with a skunk and smell like a rose. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Arla? Hey, I'm the rose. You're the skunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Bite your, bite your I hang out with crazies, too. Looks around. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Who are you speaking to? Mama told me not to. Again, teenager, we don't listen. <laughs> that, that is a true story. His his mama did forbid him from hanging out with me. Oh. You were a bad boy then. Dang. <laughs> oh, we gotta tell, we gotta see hear these stories. Yeah, we'll, the we'll have a we'll have a long talk when we get to more. <laughs> right on. I can't wait. Are you gonna be? In the camping area and the content creator area, where are you going to be set up? I'll be in the camping area. Right on. General, general population. Gen pop. Yeah. <laughs> Gen pop. Same, same. Yeah. Same, same. We can't wait to see you. Yeah. Can't here. wait. Can't wait. It'll be here quick. I mean, real quick. Three weeks. I know. Yeah. Three weeks. Yeah. three weeks tomorrow we got to be arriving on site mm -hmm. oh my god three weeks tomorrow. i know we gotta get our life together <laughs> <laughs> tom flies yeah we do have to get our life together we, got we gotta, have, we gotta to have a meeting about a meeting <laughs> more yeah i did not realize it was that fast but yeah guess where we are 22 days away from from uh being on site yeah. oh lord Bats Off Rose says, I can't wait to get my new patch. All right. That's right. You get in the line behind me, Tony. Yeah, you get behind me. Line. That's right. That's my that's my husband. He will be behind me. I'm first. <laughs> supporting me. you. Yeah. Supporting me from behind me. Yeah. yeah. He, he shares my love for the 2.74 cylinder. He does. Yeah. Right on. Tony loves everything. <laughs> Except for Arla. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he loves her the most. I'm hard to love. So what? <laughs> what ask. That's right. Just you give her some snacks and she'll be happy. Yeah. And Mountain Dew. Oh my gosh. Here we go again. <laughs> I'm, I'm representing Coke. Yeah, you're outnumbered. That's You're the story of my life. You're out there. Well, thank you everyone for watching tonight. Oh, wait, we got one more question. Hold on. People are sneaking right questions then. in. I was ready to wrap it up and then they jumped in with a question. Okay. What ignited your interest into vehicle based touring? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Off grid Alaska. Thoughts. I got old and fat and couldn't hike anymore. <laughs> <laughs> When I when I was young, I I backpacked a lot. Um, we we did a lot of backpacking when I was young and physically fit. Um, but vehicle based adventure is a lot easier. So, uh, and you can go a lot further. Times, yeah, uh, you can you can go a lot further. You know, as I got older, I could afford adult toys. Yeah, like vehicles that you can do that stuff in. And yeah. uh, I, I like getting to go away and see faraway places like Canada. If you've never been to the Canadian Rockies, um, it's probably it's probably the most beautiful place I've ever been. It's it's, it's on so my pretty. list. It's so pretty up through there, from from Banff all the way up to the Yukon oh. territory. It's just it's mm. just. And you'll have to stop counting the animals that you oh, see. Oh, wow. Uh, we saw so many bears going through there. I'm, mm. 
and moose just tons and tons of them. But they were just a little cuddly, snuggly bears, right? Not the big, scary, mean bears. <laughs> like Yogi. We, we saw a couple of the, the big, mean ones. Oh, gosh. But one thing, I, I have not been able to see a polar bear in the wild. And I really, really, really want to do that. I heard they're really mean. Yeah, and they're really big. They're, they're huge. But we got, we got another question here. Uh, Carol wants to know, what are the top five things you take on each trip? Ooh, Carol. That's well, a good well, we've question. already established peanut butter. Peanut yes. butter? <laughs> peanut butter is very important. Um, mm -hmm. uh, plenty, of, plenty of fuel and water. Well, and it kind of depends on the trip. If we're just saying in general, any trip, fuel's probably not as important. If you're in the lower 48, you're you'll be hard pressed not to be able to get fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for the most part. But I keep plenty of water. Um, I keep some dehydrated meals in case I do get stranded somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and my, I have a find me spot satellite communicator. Mm -hmm. Don't leave home with that one, without that one. Um, I know people, a lot of people have the Garmin in reach or the Zolio or um, I, I just happen to have the spot. I've had it since 2018, I think. So it's worked good for me. Um, I don't know how many things I've named. You said peanut butter, water, fuel, the spot. Okay, that's four. Um, I think that's all you said, yeah. Yeah, um, a, a variety of clothing, mm -hmm. which yeah. when when we went out to uh, Expo West last year, you know, I was leaving South Carolina. It was May. It was 90 degrees. And uh, I was going to Arizona. I'm, I'm thinking Arizona is it's the desert. I don't need any warm clothes. <laughs> I I was gonna die. <laughs> it was so cold there. Mm -hmm. It was oh, yeah. cold and wet for two or three days there. And uh, uh, I, somebody did feel sorry for me and gave me a hoodie. So. <laughs> Jeez. We did get a late bloomer here. Ozark Overland Adventures. It's probably Matt. That's and right. We are, we are getting to possibly camp together before more. I can't wait. I, right I'm looking forward to it. I, I talked to Jeremiah a couple of days ago, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to camping with you. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's the best guide through the through the Ozarks right there. Oh, yeah. That's that's why, He's the dude. That's why we're making friends with him here. Uh, if there's anybody that's going to lead you, yeah, to the Ozarks, it'll be Matt. You know for sure. Sure enough. Oh, yeah. That'd be, that'd be good for you. You'll like that. Okay. We got Off Grid Alaskan says, I too am a backpacker at heart, but after four knee surgeries through the VA, I had to rethink my means of exploring my church in nature. We have a somewhat similar beginning. Yeah. And then Bass Off Road said, You forgot to list pants. <laughs> you forgot to list pants. I, I thought pants were optional. Listen, the dude <laughs> that never wear freaking pants. We're fair. Like, Tony's always got on shorts and he get he takes a lot of heat because he he'll end up texting me because I'll go out later than him in my rig. He'll be gone on his. And he'll text me a message to say, hey, can you bring me some pants? It's cold. <laughs> Did you look at the weather? <laughs> yes, dear, I'll bring you pants. Pants and croc or shorts and crocs. That's how he rolls. You know, whatever floats his boat. <laughs> There's his thing. All right. We want to get this out to more. Somebody else, let's see if anybody else asks a question while I'm okay. Sure. Okay. So <laughs> thank you all for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Phil, it was awesome to finally talk to you on the air. Can't wait to see you at more. We'll definitely share a campfire and I want to hear all those juicy stories. Oh yeah. So we, we're gonna know. We're gonna know all about Phil. We're gonna share a Mountain Dew. That's yes. right. You guys can share a Mountain Dew. I'll have a Coke. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.